Good afternoon, it's Sunday. I woke up around 11.30 and went to sleep at 4.30. The grand finals was so good. It went to game five and newbie won and I was so happy for them. Even though it's a minor, it was still a really tough tournament because the top teams were there, but they came out on top and it was really great play, like sick plays everywhere. But, on the other hand, I had scheduled my groceries delivery to come at 1 to 2 and this is the second time but they've delivered it early. They also didn't send a notification to the account that they left my groceries on the front porch and I'm really pissed about that because I feel like it's so easy to not suck at doing a service. So for example, I chose a time for them to deliver and they delivered it early. Why would you make your customer choose a time if you don't even deliver during the time? That's my first main complaint, a big one because this is the second time. Um, and then the second one is just leaving my stuff out there without sending some sort of notification to my phone. I don't know if they have that capability. I think there should be like a chat thing in relation to when your person is shopping and they want to communicate if maybe something isn't available anymore and if you wanted to swap it out but there probably is a way for them to notify you because the first time I did it when my shopper couldn't find my place they were texting my phone so fucking text me if you're gonna leave my groceries on the front porch I don't care if they let me know but I don't know how long they left it there um, I got up I took a shower and I was blow drying my hair and I was concerned I wouldn't be able to hear them, but I'm pretty sure if they used my doorbell, which is very obnoxious, I would have heard it. So they probably only knocked and then they were like, I don't know, I'm gonna leave your shit here. I am going hiking because it has been about two weeks since I've been out in the wilderness. It's late, I feel like it's late because it is one o'clock, but sunset is now 5.20. Oh, I'm so happy that there's more daylight nowadays. So 5.20, it's gonna take about an hour to get there. And I'm going to head out right now. See you there. Break, good. Wow, going through the water instead of the rocks. Well, I didn't know that cows were on this trail. I mean, I did see some cow poop, but still, down inside. Definitely not going down there. So nice. Good girl. Gotta get pictures of her posing on a rock and everything next to this beautiful stream. So far, I have not come across anyone, which is fantastic. Ah, hopefully not. Break, good girl. Look at this damn dog. This is where we're supposed to cross. We just crossed and she decides to go in the water. Now she's going to be so filthy. Damn it, pups. <laughs> and when she heard me kind of like give a sigh, she was about to sit. Cause usually if I'm displeased or unhappy, she does like a default sit kind of. I think it's probably her way of, you know, complying and thinking that it would make things better. But <laughs> this fucking dog. <laughs> well, I guess by the time we get back, she'll probably dry off, but they're so silly. All right, let's go. 
so gross. Dirty. Yeah, there you see it. She's moving around a lot. That little fucker! Good thing he's staying on the outside. Not penetrating that fur of hers. Alright, I have to remove it. <laughs> so I've been back from hiking for a few minutes now. And I started cooking because earlier I ordered a big ass chicken, oven roasted chicken, and I decided to separate it into all these bowls. So there was a lot of freaking chicken, so I put it in four bowls, and then I have enough to put them in two bags that I am going to bring to work for a snack. These servings might be too big actually, but whatever. But yeah, aside from that, I have potatoes, spinach, and broccoli cooking in a pan, and that will be my dinner, hopefully for half the week. Um, I am not very good today because I only ate yogurt before hiking because I didn't want to eat oatmeal and need to poop while I'm hiking. So yogurt, that's it. Not very good. I did bring beef jerky on my hike, but I'm the type of hiker that doesn't like to, I don't know, eat while hiking. I even don't like to drink very much while hiking, so I kind of have to force myself. But uh, yeah, today was a beautiful day. I only came across one group of people, which was nice. Yeah, actually there's more Dota coming up this week, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, I don't really think I'm sick of it at all because it's so entertaining for me to watch. Okay, I'm done cooking and I am starving, so I can't wait to dig into this. I am <laughs> going to choose the bowls that have the chicken legs portion of the chicken first because ew, dry chicken breast, I don't like it. I'll leave that for last. Finished my workout. It was a short one because I just wanted to do a quick one after watching a movie because I was lying there for like two hours and I felt kind of lazy so I wanted to just get in a short workout short because I went hiking today so it was kind of like a double effort there but I watched only the brave earlier and I'm surprised at how good it was um, I actually think I would maybe give it a five out of five because it had a lot of different aspects that were enjoyable so all the characters you really connect with and then you really care about what happens to them their family life their struggles all of that um, there was good bantering in between I thought the dialogue was good the performances were really good and it had a really great cast like everybody was really enjoyable I haven't seen Jennifer Connelly in forever and I have missed her and she is still so beautiful. Um, Josh Brolin was really good. Josh Brolin is honestly, I kind of view him as like a comical guy now because I saw him in Inherent Vice and he had this funny scene with Joaquin Phoenix. But do you think that Glenn and Shasta were... Like F-U-C-K-I-N-G-E? fucking -ing? Is that why you killed him? But regardless, um, there's just very good chemistry. Um, and aside from like the brotherhood of the firefighters, you also really care about the relationships on the side, which I think is impressive how they managed to get you to care about so much in the time frame that they had. So yeah, a very good movie. And Miles Teller is still showing that he's such a good actor. But actually another aspect of this movie that I really enjoyed was the aspect of Josh Brolin's character and Jennifer Connelly. They play married they play a married couple and they have this ranch out in Arizona and they also own horses and they also go riding out into the wilderness together. You know, when I saw that lifestyle that they had together, I was just thinking about how beautiful it was. Um, how ideal it would be. I would love a lifestyle like that. And also, it reminded me that horseback riding is something I've always put on the back burner 
but now that I have this new job, it's totally possible for me to take up lessons, but I'm not going to jump the gun on this one because I have been piling on additional monthly expenses with the personal training and then the upcoming motorcycle, so I don't want to be too hasty about it. Um, horseback lessons, I would want them to be private. That's just how I am. I don't like group lessons. I like one-on-one -on -one instruction. So just for an estimate, the one place that I asked um, last year is east of Del Mar. And they said that they would be charging $75 per private lesson. So if I did once a week, that would be $300 a month. So I will have to keep that in mind, but it is something I am looking forward to. Um, it's weird because horseback riding has always been something that felt unobtainable for me and it's been something I've been wanting to try since I was young actually. I was really interested in horses. Spirit Stallion of the Samaran was one of my favorite movies as a child and I thought it was really funny later on that I learned that Matt Damon voiced that movie but yeah that movie was like my favorite but my parents didn't want to pay for lessons understandable now that I think about it because of how expensive they are but yeah just that prospect is kind of exciting um, the idea that something that you have wanted for a while can soon become something you regularly indulge in <laughs> so it's uh, like 85 degrees or so outside today so instead of a walk, I decided to play a little fetch with her in the back, in the shade, and I'm happy to see that she got her exercise. What does suck a little bit though is that I have to kind of limit her water intake because it would be really foolish of me to just give her as much water as she wants, which would basically mean that she would have an accident in the creek, so I had to limit her a little bit. but. Uh, maybe later on, once I get home, she can have as much as she wants. I am fairly awful. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I do think it is a little pathetic how impatient I am, but I decided to buy the remaining parts of my motorcycle gear today. That includes a helmet and gloves. And I am pretty much done with everything I need. Um, I do think later on I will probably buy more protection just to be safe because I am actually pretty afraid of getting into a crash so if I do I want to be as prepared as possible so extra stuff I might consider buying are back protectors I might consider buying pants mostly for the days I decide to actually just cruise not if I'm going to a destination so if I'm going to work I wouldn't wear pants for protection because that means I would have to change my pants at the office and that's just very annoying and most of the times these pants probably are a tighter fit. Yeah, you know, I do take safety very seriously for riding because I don't even want to think about what would happen if I didn't wear any gear like some of these people that just wear regular civilian clothing. I can't. I don't ever want to do that. So. I do expect my stuff should arrive maybe by this week, hopefully, and if they do arrive this week, well, even if they don't, I was anticipating going to the store on Saturday, making the purchase. So the thing with that is <laughs> my parents are coming next week, so that means that they're going to see it. and There's like a 110% chance they're going to scold me for that purchase. They never entirely liked the fact that I rode, but with my personality, it didn't matter what they thought. It was more like they became the annoying, naggy person that was like, oh, you should, don't ride anymore, it's so dangerous. But the thing is, I remember at the very beginning when I just got the bike and my dad and I were trying to figure out how to ride it, I felt like he had some fun on it. like. He used to ride Vespas in Taiwan, so I do think he had some fun, and unfortunately, I don't think he's as 
daring as I am to consider riding, even though I do think he would enjoy it because he often takes his BMW out to just ride on the highway. So imagine if he did that on a motorcycle, I think it would be so much more fun. But anyways, yeah, I mean, I would probably go by it on a weekday, but they close at seven and I get off work at six because I'm going in later to try to avoid traffic. So yeah, as you can tell, I plan things out a lot. Like I calculated everything. I plan out when I'm going to go to a store. Like I don't usually do things spontaneously. So when I do, it can be a little surprising. Hello, aren't you guys proud of me? I finally changed my shirt. But anyways, <laughs> um, so when the Oscar nominations came out for the foreign film category, I decided to look up those movies and try to add them to my list to watch. So I believe the one I'm watching tonight is from that list. Sometimes it's kind of hard to keep track because I've been watching a lot of foreign movies lately and I'm actually really enjoying it. So tonight's it's called On Body and Soul. I don't know which language specifically it is because I didn't go double check what it is, but it seems like a pretty interesting premise. So I am really interested in seeing it. And what the hell, Riley I just took my spot. So maybe you guys are familiar, but she is usually on that side of the couch. You can tell too, because, well, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of hair on this side. So I actually never like to sit on this cushion because it's filled with hair. But now she has moved over. I'm most likely going to make her relocate because that's my spot. And I like having two supporting things for my back and sitting for a while to watch a movie. So she's gonna have to go. You can enjoy it for now, but you're gonna have to go. We got that little, this little motherfucker here. <laughs> His ears. <laughs> oh man, I, I swear, like, Milo is actually, I just laugh at him because he looks funny to me. And he is the goofiest cat in the world. Yeah, my camera's not clear. Because his face! My camera isn't clear because his face is like all together as one. His hair, his body hair and his face look like they are meshed together as one. Look, it's having trouble focusing. Good morning, so it's Wednesday morning and I am eating a casual Lucky Charms breakfast because um, I feel like I'm a little behind in time. But you just headbutted my crotch. Good. Good. Hi, everyone. I just finished my lunch and I am about to head back to work. And the nice weather has me in such a good mood right now. Well, I've been in a relatively good mood all day. Um, this morning, I spent a lot of time talking to my first manager that I ever had. So I was doing a, um, I'd say maybe it was like an internship or part-time job during my last two years of college. And this was a job that was in Dayton, New Jersey, um, roughly 10 to 15 minutes away from my house. And he was actually a really really cool boss he's british and he rides motorcycles too so he was someone that kind of really like helped me out in terms of getting started um taught me a lot of things and we were able to discuss many things just because he's a super cool person and i haven't seen him in many years um that does kind of make me sad because he is one of the few people in my career that I like to keep in touch with and I haven't 
done a very good job of it. Like there were maybe two to three year gaps before I spoke to him again. And usually it's a very short text conversation, but I reached out to him again recently because I'm buying a motorcycle again and I kind of wanted his advice in terms of insurance and kind of just catch up on things. Um, he is still on the East Coast, but he did say that he might consider a cross-country riding trip again. So if he does, he might stop by San Diego and then we could go riding together. So that would be really cool. Um, he definitely kind of opened my eyes a little bit because he said that if he were to hire anybody, he would hire me in a heartbeat. And normally I don't think of myself as a very good worker. And I think that might be because the past few years I have been working under people that don't inspire me and they don't, they're not necessarily people I get along well with. So it doesn't bring out the best work in me. And it also keeps me more confined to myself. Like they don't get a good opportunity to get to know my personality because I don't feel very motivated to kind of expose myself in the workplace. I just focus on my work and do my job and kind of stick to myself. So I do think that maybe I network with the right people because I actually don't network at all, but I do have two managers that I was really fond of. I got along with them really well, and I feel like we connected on more of a friend level than a professional level. So I think that's, that's kind of like just how I live life, right? I don't want friends unless we connect well, and it's kind of similar professionally because I feel like usually they tell you to network with everybody and anybody that you could meet just because you never know what happens if a connection can help you out. But I don't, I don't want superficial connections even in the workplace. So it does make me feel good to think that he appreciated me as an employee and he kind of saw the value that I brought forth in the work that I did. I don't know, you know, sometimes it's really nice to catch up with people, especially when you never lost respect for them. <laughs> so I am going to head back now because I'm roasting in my car. I have my personal training right after work, so this will be a longer afternoon for Riley, but she seems pretty happy. It was a really good lunch with her today. Hi, I just finished my workout like 10 to 15 minutes ago. And now I am, you know, I am tired. I don't feel like cooking. I mean, I do have leftovers that I could eat, but that's for lunch tomorrow. So I decided to pick up mango green tea again, but I think it has been a week since I had my last one. I have been really good about bubble tea. I'm no longer driving you know, I'm no longer taking trips to get bubble tea that last an hour because there's like 10 to 15 minute drive one way and then I have to wait in line, pay, wait for my drink. All of that takes a lot of time. So I have been pretty good about it. Definitely cutting back on however much I am spending on bubble tea. And then I also made another stop to Chipotle. Um, I just really wanted something filling and I know Chipotle tends to fill me up. I usually get a chicken burrito bowl and I think with a combination of these two it would be a pretty good pick-me-up after a workout. Of course I probably could be eating healthier today but you know I'm tired. Um, I definitely felt myself kind of having really short attention span during the workout. Like it's not like I am fading or fainting or losing energy or anything, but I just notice that when I'm tired, I guess, um, like I, I tend to kind of like stare out like that and then I like kind of lose focus or I feel myself kind of like going in and out in a sense. So I felt that way throughout the workout. Um, next time I'm probably going to try to eat a banana or some jerky beforehand because I didn't really eat anything. I ate like pretzels two hours beforehand. Pretzels are worthless. So I actually had jerky in my backpack since hiking. I didn't eat them during hiking. They've been there. I could have ate them, but um, yeah, next week I'll try to do better. But I was really glad I got that workout in and I uh, 
I felt that competitiveness with myself again, where I was like, you can't not finish this workout. Like, keep pushing yourself, show that you can do all these workouts with a lot of energy while maintaining your form and all that. So that was good. And now I have to get back to see my little puppers. She must have gotten a really good nap in. Can't wait to see her. There's always so much to do right when I come home. So I already let Riley out, put the collar on, and I let her out to pee. Anyways, <laughs> now it's time to let out the final members of the family. Oh, you hear that? Oh, oh. Oh, where are they? Oh, from the shadows come the cats. They never walk over the tape. It's so funny. <laughs> Goodbye. He's so cute. And then someone gets in the way. Oh, hello. Milo. You fluffer fluff. Fluffer fuck. Oh. Oh. Hopefully Sammy's not stupid enough to stand behind me and get ran into. Okay, yeah. I might actually just end my day recording here because I want to eat and then I'm probably going to watch The Hurricane with Denzel Washington. I've had that on the back burner for a while and today maybe I feel ready to tackle Denzel. But I want to spend some time later editing this so if I, you know, record throughout the night, I'll just have, you know, footage and I would end up editing very late or something like that. So I'm going to end it here. It is only Tuesday night. I thought it was Wednesday randomly during the day today, but uh, I am I am a low on energy. You know, today was a rough day, um, but 
clear some dota i think in like a little over a day so actually the first day isn't that exciting not many teams that i want to see but still worth watching i think because sometimes when i watch dota i feel like i'm a part of something bigger i love the competitiveness of it and i also feel like I'm a part of the gaming community when I watch it because I'm not playing anything right now and it makes me sad. So watching it is just very nice, but hopefully everybody had a wonderful Tuesday. I had a very eventful Tuesday. And tomorrow is going to be drug test day, which I'm not worried about, really. Like, do you guys think I do drugs? Um, I'm probably going to try to pee in a cup around lunch hour tomorrow so once I get that sorted out though I think everything is pretty solid so have a good night everybody